President of the United States and the Prime Minister of Dominica. And he will be joined, as we've said, by Steve, we're told that the President is just about to come out. He's been speaking with congressional leaders for about an hour now. We're told that the decision probably came yesterday. Involved what nations we had been told Britain was involved, also Jamaica, also Barbados. Here is the Prime Minister and also the President of the United States. Statement, and then I shall yeah, present you. Ladies and gentlemen, on Sunday, October 23rd, the United States received an urgent formal request from the five member nations of the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States to assist in a joint effort to restore order and democracy on the island of Grenada. We acceded to the request to become part of a multinational effort with contingents from Antigua, Barbados, Dominica, Jamaica, San Lucia, St. Vincent, and the United States. I might add that two of those, Barbados and Jamaica, are not members of the organization, but were first approached, as we later were, by the OECS and asked to join in that undertaking, and then all of them joined unanimously in asking us to participate. Early this morning, Forces from six Caribbean democracies and the United States began a landing or landings on the island of Grenada in the Eastern Caribbean. We have taken this decisive action for three reasons. First, and overriding importance to protect innocent lives, including up to a thousand Americans whose personal safety is, of course, my paramount concern. Second, to forestall further chaos, and third, to assist in the restoration of conditions of law and order and of governmental institutions to the island of Grenada, where a brutal group of leftist thugs violently seized power, killing the prime minister, three cabinet members, two labor leaders, and other civilians, including children. Let there be no misunderstanding. This collective action has been forced on us by events that have no precedent in the Eastern Caribbean and no place in any civilized society. American lives are at stake. We've been following the situation as closely as possible. Between 800 and 1,000 Americans, including many me medical students and senior citizens, make up the largest single group of foreign residents in Grenada. From the start, we have consciously sought to calm fears. We were determined not to make an already bad situation worse and increase the risks our citizens faced. But when I received reports that a large number of our citizens were seeking to escape the island, thereby exposing themselves to great danger, and after receiving a formal request for help, a unanimous request from our neighboring states, I concluded the United States had no choice but to act strongly and decisively. Let me repeat, the United States objectives are clear to protect our own citizens, to facilitate the evacuation of those who want to leave, and to help in the restoration of democratic institutions in Grenada. I understand that several Caribbean states are asking that the Organization of American States consider the situation in Grenada. Our diplomatic efforts will be in close cooperation with the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States and the other countries participating in this multinational effort. And now I am very happy and proud to present to you the chairman of the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States and the Prime Minister of Dominica, Prime Minister Charles. I think we were all very horrified at the events which took place recently in Grenada. We, as part of the Organization of East Caribbean States, realizing that we are, of course, one region. We belong to each other, our kith and kin. We all have members of our state living in Grenada. We're very concerned that this event should take place again. It is true that um, we have managed to live with the regime since March 79, and we felt quite clearly, and we had good reason to believe, that the Bishop regime was seeing it our way and was on the way to have elections. And we think this is the reason why himself and his cabinet were destroyed, because he realized that the pressure we put on him to have elections was worthwhile, was right, and he began to see that the democratic institutions must be put in place in any of these small countries. It is even more important in a small island state, poor island state, to have the democratic institutions. 
And this we have had for a long time, and we've continued it, and we wish to continue it. Grenada was an aberration in this respect. But that these men who had for all these years accepted the bishop regime should then, on, for their own reasons, and I think the power-hungry reasons, decide to destroy the persons whom they had accepted as their leaders for so long, made us realize that this sort of assassination must not be allowed to continue in our country. It means that our people there are not safe. It means that Grenadians are never being given the chance to choose for themselves the country that they want. And therefore, it is necessary for us to see to it that they have the opportunity to do so. To do this, we have to isolate the persons who have committed the acts that they did last week in killing off all, most of the cabinet. And we have to ensure that, in fact, an interim government of persons of not political greed, but persons who are good administrators and who are Grenadians, who can run the country for a few months for the pure purpose of putting the country back on the democratic status. So that elections can take place as soon as possible. This is what we want to do so that Grenadians can choose for themselves the government they want and not have every few years have governments imposed on them by persons will otherwise than they would. Is there all the Americans say that the Soviets and the Cubans were behind this takeover of Grenada? Did the Joint Chiefs tell you that yesterday afternoon? Is we, can we go on to this? Yes, we do have this information. I can't give you all the details because the safety of people concerned. But we noted with great this demur in the two weeks before the session took place, the movements between the Soviet embassies and known activists and the activists returned to Grenada, obviously a conduit between some of these Russians and some of these... Um, Mr. Can you tell us, are all the Americans safe, sir? Can you, can you tell us that and how long will the American forces be on the ground there? What is their role? I could, well, we don't know how long that will be. We want to be out as quickly as possible because this, our purpose in being there is only for them to enable to take over their own affairs. Um, as far as we know, uh, the citizens are safe. Uh, we have been monitoring that uh, very closely, and one of our prime objectives in the actual invasion that was almost instantly done uh, was the securing of that uh, that St. George Medical College where the several hundred of the students were. Mr. President, as late as, yes, as late as yesterday, your own spokesman said that Americans on Grenada were in no danger. Did you have information that things had changed? They were in no danger in the sense of that right now anything was being done to them. But we know that there was concern on the part of those because already we'd been informed of several hundred who wanted to leave, but the airports were closed. Uh, there was no way of leaving. Uh, this was a case of not waiting until something actually happened to them. But uh, we did manage to get some intelligence out of the island, uh, intelligence information on this, and that uh, the tenuous situation was, as I said, the only authority uh, that you could say and of a governmental nature in that island was a 24-hour curfew with orders to shoot on sight anyone found moving uh, in those 24 hours. What is the military situation now, sir, in Grenada? Can you tell us? I can only tell you that we have secured both the airports uh, and the landings have been completed, but uh, we are yielding to the influence of General Vesey and that we don't think in these early hours of that landing that we should be on the horn asking the commanders to stop and give us detailed reports. Mr. Mr. President, do you think that the United States has the right to invade another country to change its government? But I don't think it's an invasion, if I may answer that question. Is this is a question about asking for support. We are one region. Grenada is part and parcel of us, an organization, and we don't, have, we don't have the capacity ourselves to see to it that Grenadians get the freedom that they require to have to we choose their own government. Thin, wait, wait one second here. No, we're not spread too thin, and let me, let me augment what the Prime Minister just said. Um, once these nations, which were once British colonies, were freed, uh, they themselves f had a treaty and their treaty was one of mutual support. Uh, and Grenada is one of the countries and signatories to that treaty uh, and observed that treaty at one time when 
Uh, they had a de democratic government and a constitution, uh, constitutional government, the constitution that was left to them by the British. So this action that is being taken is being taken under the umbrella of an existing treaty. A helicopter has been shot down, that a U.S. helicopter has been shot down on Grenada. This Do you have any information of any U.S. casualties on the island? Sir? This is the last question, and we cut off after this. Last question. Do we question. have any information of any U.S. casualties on the island, sir? No, I have been in meetings, and uh, both have been busy since we arrived here, and I've only had the first report of our landings and so forth, so I don't know whether that's true or not. Thank um, you, sir. What? It what has reports have you no, received no. on the, the success of, our opera, of the U.S. Uh, Caribbean operation? What's that? What reports right. have you received of the success of the operation? The initial operation of landing, securing the immediate targets, taking control of the airports, completely successful. Now, the Prime Minister and I are going to depart, but I'm going to, there are going to be a lot more technical questions of that kind, and Ambassador Motley is here, and I'm going to put him before you to ask all of the technical questions that's you may have. In Lebanon I'm now. sorry, that's the last question. Well, I'm not... Yes. See? Could you answer the question of the Soviets behind this? Uh -huh. Were the Soviets behind sorry. the grenade to take over? The President said that's the last question. <laughs> now, do you want a filing break for this? Yeah. Okay, we'll take 10-minute filing break, and we'll be back. Ambassador